This is a short video to help you identify a genuine antique John Speed map. The first illustration is a 1676 edition of Essex by John Speed and we'll explore various aspects of this map which clearly indicate that it is a genuine antique. Speed County maps were published between 1611 and 1770. We do not have time in this video to explain the difference between each edition but what 99% of them have in common is the descriptive text on the back. Modern reproductions do not have this feature. Clue number two. When viewing the back and to some extent the front, a genuine map will have a clear centre fold. Also on the reverse, there will be evidence of the binding used to attach the map into the atlas. You can see in this corner detail the third indication of a genuine map. The presence of a plate mark near to the image. Each map is engraved on a copper plate which is then inked and the image transferred onto the paper using a press. The plate leaves an indentation in the paper a few millimetres from the image. The fourth indication, which can also be seen on our corner detail, is the type of paper used in the 17th and 18th centuries. This is called laid paper and has faint horizontal lines and texture with some vertical lines as well. Modern copies have very flat, featureless paper. Now we look at some examples of modern reproductions which are often confused with genuine antiques. Our first example, which is commonly offered for sale on online auction sites, is printed on brown, textured, parchment type paper. It has no plate mark, text to the reverse, or centre fold and binding and is not on lay paper. It has no intrinsic value. Our genuine map, seen earlier, was printed in black ink on white paper and hand coloured with watercolour. This reproduction has printed colour, which can easily be seen as a series of dots when viewed with a powerful magnifying glass. Other indications are no plate mark, centre fold or binding, and flat paper. It has text outside of the image which will never be found on the real item, and it is worthless. The third example is printed in sepia ink, and like the other reproductions, bears no plate mark, centre fold and binding, and has flat paper. It also has the text in the margin. For the purposes of illustration, we have only featured County Maps by Speed. He did, of course, produce many other maps of countries and continents, but the same basic principles for identification can be applied to them. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope it has been informative, and please visit our website where you can view examples of genuine antique John Speed maps.